In this video, we are going to talk about using a kicker board here and notching the front end of the stringer around it. And I've never been a big fan of this. And as a matter of fact, I've never even done it. And for those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you've probably seen a few videos where I explain my reasons why I don't like it. And as an alternative, I offer something like this where you are not going to be notching the stringers but instead you can use blocks like I've done here. So you're going to be able to nail the blocks down to the subflooring or the joist and hopefully the joist and then you can go ahead and toenail the stringers to the floor sheathing or nail the stringers to the blocks, whatever you think is going to work easier for you. And the number one reason why I don't like it is because if you have any gaps underneath the stringers, and trust me, you're either gonna have a gap under here or a gap under here. And most of the time, the gap is going to be over here. And if it is, and there's no nailing under here, which that's another problem too. I think if you just at the very least nailed the back of the stringer to the sheathing or to a block that you would have on the other side of the stringer, then that would definitely help with the problem. Now, if you have the gap here or you have a gap here and this ends up splitting, then you could end up with a stairway that is suffering with a little bit of structural damage, depending upon if there's even any support in this area or end up with a noisy stairway because you're going to have parts of the stairway moving as you transfer between steps. And I also need to point out that I have had quite a few people disagree with me. So don't worry about it if you disagree with me. Keep doing what you need to do if this doesn't make sense. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.